Alrighty. Well, my name is Neil. I've been inspired by some other YouTubers to make a video of my 2008 Pontiac Grand Prix GXP. Uh, this car has over 168,000 miles on it. Um, 2008, it was supposed to get generic forged aluminum wheels. They did away with the Alcoa, I think the middle of 2007. But the previous owner didn't like the look of the stock rims. So he purchased some pre-2007 forged aluminum Alcoas and put them on. Since I bought the vehicle, I've put on a set of new front tires and I went with the Postenza RE970 AS pole position tires. I've also put uh, Raybestos rotors on it all the way around and Raybestos ceramic pads. One thing I'm curious about is the caliper is painted red, but there's no there's no GXP on the caliper like I've seen on some. I don't know if that's something GM didn't do on the 08s or if that wore off or fell off. I'm not sure. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at the inside. I used to be pretty fastidious about keeping my car clean, but I've had some back issues and uh, it's kept me from uh, cleaning and detailing my car as much as I would like to. Uh, so it's not as clean as I would like it to be. so it doesn't beep like crazy. Oh, somehow my flash on my phone is on. So it kind of gives us a lighted view. All right, it's been sitting in my garage. As you can see, the ambient temperature is 59 degrees, so the transmission's right there. Battery voltage. Let's take a peek on my mileage. There we are. Getting a glare. 168,636 miles. I purchased, uh, if you can see this, those are WeatherTech floor mats. They really help in the wintertime to keep the, in the Michigan winters here to keep the snow and ice off the carpet. And so they've really proven to be invaluable. Something that's very unique about my GXP that I've noticed, when I've seen other people's videos of GXPs, they either have the six disc CD changer, or they've had the nav unit, or they've had the regular CD with the monsoon audio. My system happens to be fortunate enough to have the C single disc CD player with XM radio and MP3 functionality. This is the only radio that GM put in the GXP that offered MP3 compatibility. Even the nav units cannot play MP3s unless you do a hack with the Corvette firmware revision to allow you to play mp3s on the nav unit so i think that's something that's very rare as an add-on for this car that my car happens to have that i don't see a lot of other cars having so that's something that i find interesting i think it's in fairly good shape considering the mileage Everyone knows power moonroof. Now I know the airbags, side airbags was an option. Mine was optioned out with that. So it pretty much had every option available to it except for the nav unit. But I'm actually happy that not to have a nav unit because then I don't have to worry about map updates. I just use my smartphone 
with Google Maps to do all my nav navigation, and it allows me to have MP3 CD player as an option. Let's turn this on here. Now you can see, I think I have a, I know I have a bulb burned out on the right side of the display, but, um, and I do subscribe to satellite radio, but if we put it here, I can use my XM radio and my CD player with the MP3 compatibility to play MP3s. So, I like that. I don't see it on a lot of GXPs. Uh, so I'm happy to have that. Let's go look under the hood. I guess probably should start it up, eh? Now I have a little glitch in my car. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this or not. You can comment if you have. But if I start my car with the radio on and the monsoon amp on, sometimes it will reset the radio and cause a very loud pop. So I've always gotten in the habit of turning off my radio before starting my car. So let's crank up this car with 168,636 miles. I love that LS4 idle. We'll take a peek under the hood and then we'll listen to the exhaust and we'll wrap this up. All right, so under the hood, 168 plus thousand miles. A couple of things that I did. Everyone usually goes with a K&N drop in filter, it's good for a couple extra horsepower and it makes the intake sound a little louder. You might say, wow, this engine looks brand new. And uh, <laughs> I like to keep the engine bay clean, but this cover is a brand new one. I just purchased this for $75 online. And the reason being is I had tried to paint my cover with good success, and I painted it to match my plug wires, that blue right there. But uh, after a couple of years of underhood heat, the paint started chipping. So I tried to repaint it, and my success was not very good. So I ruined the cover, and instead of trying to strip off the paint and get it back to its original state, I just decided it would be better to buy a new cover. So that's what I did. I have not had any issues with, I'm not superstitious, so. I have not had any issues with alternator. I have not had issues with water pump, battery, not any issues with that. Or, down here you can see the starter. One thing I have had issues with is you see this little clamp here? This shield, before it gets hot, this shield underneath or on top of this exhaust crossover pipe was very loose and was rattling around. Well. All I did was go down to Muffler Man and have a strap put around it and tightened up and it did away with the rattle. So that was a cheap $10 fix. They just charged me for the clamp and the idea. Uh, let's see, what else here? I have the NGX, I think they're the 6TR IX spark plugs. They were recommended for even the stock LS4 motors. They're one heat range colder than stock, but they say that it helps prevent knock on these motors and you might say well, what's these things around my plug wires here you can see that there that's actually a ferrite magnet these are granitelli zero ohm wires that have basically no resistance and those are there to prevent electrical or emi interference from getting out of the wire there um, a lot of people who claim the Grenatelli will give you a couple extra horsepower having those wires. I can say I'm not displeased with them. They've held up well. They work well. Get you the box here, you can kind of see them in my garage. The model number for our GXP would be 281811S. 
So, zero ohm resistance. RFI EMI protected. My hand shakes, I apologize. They claim more power to the spark plug. Let's see what else they claim. A stainless steel core. The temperature 500 silicone boots. Fiberglass braided and stainless steel connectors. And they're made in the USA, of course. Granatelli Motorsports. They are expensive wires, but they claim they're some of the best out there. Okay, so now that you heard the engine, I'd say it's pretty quiet for the amount of miles on it. That's, uh, I run Mobile One 5W30 with a Mobile One filter. Let's come to the back here and check out the exhaust. That's a stock LX4 exhaust. I have not had to replace rear tires, but I did have to replace the rear struts. I purchased the OEM replacements that are Bilstein with Moog upper mounts. So these are, these struts have less than 20,000 miles or they have about 20,000 miles on them. Rear tires though have over 30,000 miles on them and they still have plenty of tread left on the Potenza RE970AS. The front tires though, on this vehicle, it's easy to wear them out so that's why I've had to replace them. But uh, if you shop online, you can get a really good price on the front tires. Uh, I think I paid $335 for a set, of, a set of these installed at Discount Muffler. You can see there's the, I think that's a stock original strut. There's some rust on it, as you can see. I don't think the front struts have ever been replaced. But as you can see from a weight test, there's no bounce in this car, so it's hard to see from my perspective because I'm shaking so much. Another thing due to meds, but um, yeah, you can't, the suspension on this car is so tight that you can't get it to bounce. So my front struts are in good shape. All right, comment if you like. Thanks for taking the time to visit my car. And with myself for a little bit, everybody have a great day.